information tonight on a man who died after being severely burned in this massive fire earlier this month. 38-year-old Jason Capps died after being treated at University of Iowa hospitals. His funeral will be tomorrow. And tonight, his family is talking to KCCI's Laura Nichols. They're telling us about the legacy this father of four leaves behind. He was burned over 65% of his body, and it was pretty much third-degree burns. It's a fire that lit up the sky for miles and forced neighboring businesses to evacuate. 38-year-old Jason Capps was working inside this industrial building that houses auto parts and paint companies when an explosion shook the street and flames burst in every direction. He was my strong-willed child, so I thought he would really pull through this. Susan Carter never thought she would be planning her son's funeral. I would never, ever wish this on anybody. I never thought this would happen. After suffering burns to most of his body, ultimately, Cap's lungs and kidneys gave out, ending a painful 10 days in the hospital. We had prayer chains going everywhere across the whole country, and um, sometimes it just doesn't, God must have a different plan for him. Caps leaves behind four children. Those who knew him best say he was a loving and patient father. The best father they could ever, ever ask for. Everybody loved him. Now the thoughts of what could have been are painful. He was coming for Thanksgiving this year, and um, I was pretty excited. So I uh, had already bought all my stuff. <laughs> But she finds comfort in knowing her son was his true self until the very end, selflessly thanking everyone who helped him, including the nurses in the hospital. Thank you for, for helping me. Thank you for taking care of me until they had to intubate him and he couldn't talk anymore. But he was, he was thanking them. And it's just that's the kind of person he was. Laura Nichols, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Funeral services for CAPS will be tomorrow. As we mentioned, if you would like to donate to help his children, that information is in a story at KCCI.com.